Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I am doing better. Um, I want to talk to you today about swell, flush, and rebuild. Sorry, I had to think of what it was. Um, so I could not find very much more information. <laughs> and the people um, on the groups that I was asking the information, they were ignoring my question. <laughs> And I was just like, so I'm really frustrated, but I decided to just to do some experimenting, play with this myself and see what happens. And so what I've noticed with me, and then you can start looking at this with yourself as well. When I'm going really good on the cleanse and my digestive system is working well and my liver seems to be working well and everything is super duper flowing, I feel like I will swell flush it all out and then I'm assuming rebuild and then I will quickly swell again and I will flush and I just kind of keep going going through that experience experience throughout the day um so and that's when I usually feel the best as well so that's kind of what my goal has become um and that's kind of what my focus and drive is because in this healing you, you have to have a focus and um, weight loss doesn't work for me anymore <laughs> as the focus because it's all been a little challenging because I will swell so much and sometimes it will happen for a few days and and like I know I haven't lost any weight and then all of a sudden I'll flush 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 and then, and then sometimes it gets so bad that I've, I've flushed everything out, it feels like, and then I swell with pain. Um, and I think that's my streptococcus acting up. And that's when I've started, when, once that, once my intestines start to hurt, because it's not really my stomach as much as it is my intestines, and I get like a little bit gassy. Um, at, not a little bit gassy, like I would get, I would get gassy. <laughs> I started adding the aloe ginger lemon water. However, if you are someone that, that goes often anyways, you might not want to do the aloe at all. Um, if you're someone that has kind of the IBS symptoms or you constipate, the aloe is um, such a big deal. So try that and see what happens and experiment with that with yourself because everybody's body is different. I just know when my stomach and my intestines and things are swollen and they hurt that the ginger helps a whole bunch and then from doing this last time that really helped my whole like swell flush rebuild like the whole process just got better and I wasn't down and out for so long my stomach didn't hurt for so long uh, or my intestines and I wasn't like because I would get so painful that when I turned or moved my whole abdomen would just be very uncomfortable and lots of pain so that ginger is the bomb I will take and squirt like a whole lemon like I'll do juice a whole lemon not in my juicer just in a little juice thing and put it in the um the blender with the aloe and the a, a, a thumbnail or more of not a thumbnail but a thumb size or more of ginger i'll peel the ginger because i don't really want the skin in there um because you do get flecks of ginger like little strips and pieces and it's it's very um stringy in a way and i'm just like i don't care i'll drink it i'll get it in because it just calms everything down and in my body, I need calm. So that's that's what I want you to experiment with. And then I noticed if I have, like, if I get into some no foods because I've I've gone out to eat a few times and and really asked questions and tried to be on top of it. But then when I left, I was like, I don't feel good. Something didn't ha something's not right. I would have like a pain. Whereas sometimes when I just have think foods, I just that I'm not sure about. I'll just feel um more stuffed or bloated but some recently I've like okay that that's a pain from my liver which pretty much means I got into something I shouldn't have um, and I've actually decided that I'm going to really set up my schedule set up my food schedule ahead of time and get my adrenal snacks in 
and fix my food for the day every day, even on the weekends. And I'm not eating out anymore. Um, once I get through this weekend, because I know I'm going out of town Saturday, I'm just not going to, I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to take my food if I go with a friend or see if they can't pick their food up to go. I'm um, just not interested in experimenting with other people's food <laughs> I just don't want to anymore um so and whenever I do get into some off foods um the swell flush uh rebuild process totally changes it's not as fast it and I feel bloated more and then like I was saying or I'll flush more so um it's it's quite an interesting concept and it's been it makes me feel like I'm healing more. Um, and that's that's a big deal. So try the Swell Flush Rebuild. Uh, tell me what you think. See, see if you can figure out what your body's doing. Um, and be very kind and gent gentle to your body in this process. It is, that's, I real, will have to say that my sessions with Pam Gotcher, and I am going to do another video on those, they have been so super helpful um so much so that i had a session yesterday and i'm going to do a, just a different video on that that it was talk we, we kind of connected a couple of things with adrenals and minerals so um and and emotional work so anyways just uh if you want to find her she's at pamgotcher.com p-a-m-g-o-t-c-h-e-r.com and she is in Oregon I think and she's lovely 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 and she is an admin through most of the um she was in the 21 day cleanse for Maniza as an admin super duper smart and just knows her stuff so um look her up if you want some emotional support and she can also maybe guide you through some food stuff so um and she's good to just talk to when it because she's gone through the process so that's what I wanted to let you know about the Swell Flush Rebuild. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Also, if you notice some of my videos might disappear, um, I might get rid of some of my protocol stuff because I want to make sure that I don't get anybody in trouble or I don't want to bring up any red flags for myself. So if you have any questions about that, you can always um, message me. And if I feel like I can't answer you through that, we will find another avenue that we could chat about it. Um, because my protocol is different than anybody else's, but I can just share some insight on things. So, wanted to let y'all know what's going on, and I plan on doing another video about my sessions with Pam and i love you guys you can do this if i can do this you can do this and just keep experimenting and the more fruit and vegetables you eat the more you won't so just keep at it it's just one step at a time bye guys